What is up guys? We're back on the vlog right here. We're in Costa Maya, Mexico. And we're on our way to Chachapin Ruins, which are these Mayan ruins, about like 40 minutes away. Here with the gang. Hey. Got our Ariel Swat and I here, our dressers, got some actors in the back. This is Jorge. Mucho gusto, Mucho gusto. nice to meet you. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. Might go to the beach after, get some food and look at some stuff. Tag along if you enjoy it. So Jorge's family is uh, Mayan. Oh, yeah? So he's teaching he's teaching us some uh, Mayan uh, phrases. Maloquin. Maloquin means good morning. Maloquin. Vishanech. Vishanech. How are you? Vishanech, yes. Vishanech. How do you say thank you? How do you say? Malo. 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 There you go. Just made a little pit stop at this uh, gas station right here. What are you drinking? Oh baby, got myself a mocha cappuccino. Ooh. All right, that's what I Let's got. See what too, we got. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. We're in this area that supposedly is super well known for pineapples. Jorge, our driver, just told us that the pineapples here are like honey. So we're about to go try some in a hot second here. Very excited. Buenos dias. Es fruit. Es lo que es. This is yaka. Ja yaka. Yeah, jackfruit. Ooh. That's wild. This one is just pineapple, so we'll be Hell yeah. Alright. What do you think? Delicious. So this one? What? what? I can smell oh, no. it from here. Oh my god. Davai. What? Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of the sweetest pineapple I've ever had in my life. I gotta try some. Right. Good promotion. Good promotion. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. That's just good. I wish I could describe. It's, I mean, it's honey. It's honey. That's what it is. It's honey pineapple. Mm. How's that? Good. Good. Oh. You're friends with the aerialists. They always show off. <laughs> Biggest show offs. So I read off this nice little summary I found online, but Chacho Ben is called the place of red corn. And it was a very large um, agricultural center for the Mayan people. So they came here to worship a lot of the gods of agriculture um, and people lived here. And I think they said around 950 BC, it, it was abandoned. Um, it's wild, it's just, it's so cool because it's still in the jungle, and only in like 2002 was it uh, was it, it became a tourist uh, destination. So it's still kind of new. Because originally this place was discovered by a uh, farmer in the 1940s. He literally was like, "I'm just gonna go to this part of the jungle and just make a farm. Like, why not?" And he found the uh, archaeological site and just made it his farm and lived here you know, until he died basically. Yeah, his kids would play on this. This was his, this was their jungle gym, that giant pyramid. <laughs> Very casual. Yeah. Be amazing. That sounds like a dream. I, uh, I used to live in Korea and for one, one Christmas, my family and I, we went to Cambodia and got to visit Angkor Wat and it was just still, you know, covered in, in trees and vines and we even went to some smaller temples and this is reminding me of just, just that. This is so cool, guys. We walked up those stairs and found this other temple. I didn't even know there was gonna be three of these things here. It's massive. It's so big. Face down. Oh. Say hi to the vlog, hon. What's up? Hi. Well, Tyler, have your mind dreams been fulfilled? Oh, dude, it blew my mind. Fulfilled all the dreams I could possibly have about this place. We've been talking. We've been talking about this place since like the first yeah. cruise. And we honestly weren't sure we were gonna be able to do this. Yeah, basically, Costa Maya, the uh, the port. There's nothing protecting it from the coast. No, the swells. The get swells are these big, big waves. Large. So 
what ends up happening is a lot of cruise ships can't dock there if the waves are too big or else especially they'll crash. during this time of year yeah like this, this time of year or something so we started experiencing that problem like a month ago but i'm so glad we were able to do it because it it was so worth the wait that's awesome it was hot back after an amazing day in Costa Maya. We've been wanting to go to those ruins for forever and I'm so glad we got to do it. Making it back on the boat with 10 minutes to spare. We have to be back on 30 minutes before the passengers. So we're barely making it. The matter is we made it. It was a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed it.